All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, I want to show you first how to perform an aggressive scan. So up to this point, we've been performing a basic scan. And what we did is, let's say we scan a server, it returned all the most common services like HTTP, uh, MySQL, FTP, and gave us a little bit of information about it, like what ports they're running on. And you know, all of that stuff is the port open or not. Well, we can also use nmap minus capital A, and this does the exact same scan, but it does it aggressively. Now, I don't know why they named it aggressively. It's basically a way to give you more information. So by more information, it means it does things like try to detect the operating system, the actual versions of the services. It does a trace route. So basically a scan just like before, you're gonna scan a server or a device or a network, whatever, but it's gonna give you a lot more detail. So I'm just gonna do this with the new boston.com. So 54.186.250.79. I can just type the new boston.com, but you know, I wanna show you guys that IP address or domain name, doesn't really matter. And there you go. We can see that it returns not only the ports, state and services, but also tries to return the version it doesn't always get it correct or it can't always determine it but there you go and it tells you a little more information we're using get and you know it also does a trace route which is pretty cool and this is what i was talking about the operating system so my server is running on linux we're actually using um ubuntu for it so there you go more information now this does in fact return a trace route in other words from my computer, whenever I connect to the newboston.com server, it shows you all of the routers it used to get there, basically the path. Now, instead of just doing that, whenever you wanna see the trace route, you can actually single that out. So if you write nmap minus minus trace route, then you can just type in the IP address of some server or the newboston.com and hit enter. And what this is gonna do is, is it's just gonna show you the trace route. And if you guys are like, you know, that's pretty interesting, but when am I ever gonna need this? Well, say that you're connecting to some website and your connection is really slow. You can actually use this to determine the bottlenecks. So it not only tells you the actual routers, but it actually tells you the time that it takes. So if you see that one of these is really, really like uh, slow or taking a long time, then you know that there's probably something funky going on there. So you can investigate it a little bit more if you want. Now, another cool thing that you guys may find handy is what if you only want to, you know, try to detect the operating system instead of just going through, looking through all that clutter, you can write minus capital O. And then you just write the new boston.com or whatever server and boom, a roast the look of that. So it says running Linux three point something so some version of linux and it also says just guessing so again like i said there's no like universal api on every server where you can just be like hey tell me information about you and it just gives it to you and map kind of has to try to figure it out sometimes it can get it right sometimes it isn't sure so it just tells you okay we're pretty sure that it's a linux but again note that this is just a guess we could be wrong and Okay, that uh, that's embarrassing. Oh, I just had a uh, McDonald's because, like, the grocery store is like a mile away from my house, but I'm way too lazy <laughs> to go get groceries. So you know, whatever. All right. Now another thing that you can do is you can actually just single out the service versions. So if you're a minus S capital V, so lowercase S capital V, then you can write the IP address or the domain name. And again, this is just going to um, return the version of the services that are running. So there you go. So now you can see that not only do we have this port, state, and service column, but we also have a fourth one called version. And it's going to attempt to give you the version of each service. So if you're, I don't know, maintaining a bunch of different servers, you can scan them real quick and make sure that every you know different service is up to date. And there you go. So there's that. So that is an aggressive scan, basically a way of getting more information about each service. And if you only want a single bit of information, you can single that out as well. So thank you guys for watching. I will smell you guys in the next video.